Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy day to you. <laughs> Today is going to be one of those days that is indeed dictated by my hair wash. So this morning, I'm not starting with my workout. I'm not starting with a shower. I, I do have one more day with this with this hair, so I'm actually just going to uh, do my little workout and shower this evening because we're actually taking um, an Instagram today that requires getting dirty with my hair. How's that? My hair is at the length right now where like, <laughs> when my hair was shorter, it was like, okay, I would twist it and it would be like one loop. And now it's just like in between loops for this clip to function. Like, uh, does that make sense? I don't know. It's at a weird length and it's doing funny things. Anyway, yeah. So this morning I'm just going to do a little uh, skincare refresh and moment. Kind of talk you guys through my little morning skincare routine, which is very brief. It's very brief and quick. But maybe you'll get some tips in here. And then we're going to start the day, guys. It's sunny, kind of. It's like a cloudy, sunny day, but the sun is still here and it's always so wonderful to wake up to you know i still have like like this tan is like peeling off of my skin this camera is the worst sorry guys holy shit. we switched to our g7x mark three and it just it's so nice because we have the mic attached to it but the focus goes out <laughs> all the time it's actually so bad i don't know what's worse i don't know i don't know what's better like having better sound or having focus that's like this like for me right now i'd rather have a little bit less quality sound curious to know what you guys think anyway my tan is just peeling off of my face right now the the fake tan and it's it's at that like day three crumble and it just looks terrible in the morning i don't usually like to wash my face i will just take a cloth and put some warm water on it and I just give it a little wipe basically. Um, but this morning I have a new little friend right here so I'm actually just gonna do a little, a little bit of the youth to the people. Yerba Mate resurfacing facial and I'm literally just gonna put it like here where I'm getting a little bit of zits. I got these cloths in PR. This is the Resore and Rosie Huntington Whiteley is like the face of this brand and apparently it's like antibacterial face cloths which I find very interesting. They are wildly wildly overpriced but um got a nice fresh face cloth here i'm gonna put some more water on it and then i'll just take a little dip of this just right there <laughs> maybe i'll put it right here too ah what the heck let's just go all over and just because this is like a quick little scrub it's just a quick little facial i usually use it a couple times a week anyway so if i wake up to a fresh new zit it just it's just a little step i do while i'm doing my little morning skincare <laughs> Okay, so then, first thing for skincare in the morning, I'm still on my SkinCeuticals train, and I don't know if I've shown you the morning routine that I've been doing for skincare, but anyway, I start with the Floritin CF. This is one of their antioxidant treatments. And I just take a few drops, and I just put that around the skin the fresh skin and i just pat that in this is the one that i'm like unsure about i'm not sure what exactly like i'm not sure if i'm noticing a significant difference from this because i am just kind of using all the things but some of the other products i'm like yes i love this this one i'm like i don't know how i feel about this one then i'm using the phyto corrective will it focus we'll see the phyto corrective gel and i'm just gonna take one little drop and just put that right onto this is it to help calm the area and maybe i'll just put the remnants around as well just kind of pat that in and i kind of feel it it's not like a tingling it's kind of like a cooling tingling but you feel it doing something right away which i like i'm like okay you're working great this is something i've really been enjoying too i feel like it's been making quite a difference but this is the redness neutralizer and i'll take a couple pumps of this and i put this right onto my cheeks where it's super red, where I get all my redness. I'll put it onto my cheeks and then I'll kind of just take what's left over 
and rub it around. And then for my favorite product and a fresh, <laughs> fresh tub, the Triple Lipid Restore Moisturizer. This thing is magical, you guys, magical. It's definitely a more expensive product. SkinCeuticals products are up there in price, but considering the price of my fresh creme sien <laughs> that I've been using for years, this is significantly cheaper than that, so I am definitely relieved to have found an alternative that is working for my skin. I just rubbed that all over. It feels so good, it's so plumping and hydrating. And then the final step, and I don't always do this, this is kind of just, especially in the winter when I'm feeling extra dry, this is the Hydrating B5 gel. And you just take a couple drops of this, apparently, allegedly, with your fingertips and kind of put it on top of everything where you're feeling a little bit more dry. So I just pat that around. And then I've got my Kiehl's lip balm in here. And I'm gonna put that on my lips. Deodorant. I'll take some spritzes of my Malin and Getz. And then, this is not skincare, this is true life right here. This is this beautiful catch-all. And, okay, it says MRS on the bottom. And someone sent this to me, and I truly, truly can't remember the name of this. And I tried finding it in my email, and I'm so sad. Anyway, I have this beautiful catch-all that I keep all of my, like, everyday jewelry in. My sweet little engagement ring, and I also have my eye drops in here. Let me just put those in real quick. Anyway, <laughs> eye drops are in and then I will don my, my jewelry of the day. This is my Lisa Goslan smiley face bracelet. Then I put my Leah Alexandra pearl bracelet on. You can use the code Alana to save money on your purchase. This is my David Yerman cuff. That's like my current daily stack on this side with my Apple Watch. Um, and then this is my Majuri bangle that I put onto this wrist, my, my Cheeto Dorito tanned wrists, oh my God. And then this is like the Leah Alexander bracelets that I actually had sparked onto me. They never come off, um, which I love. And I think they're so dainty and beautiful. But yeah, I put the Majuri bangle on this side. I'm loving the Majuri croissant diamond ring. I'm putting that on my pointer finger. This is my Majuri dome pinky ring that I like to put on. I kind of like just mixing the metals here with my engagement ring. And then I have the Cartier Love ring. This is an old, old Majuri evil eye ring. I get so many questions about the evil eye ring. I should honestly just stop wearing it in videos because they feel so badly. I did ask them in a very begging manner if they were ever going to bring this back. And they said, no, they don't repeat collections, which is so sad because the, the shape of this, if you guys remember, they used to have the chain rings, like the evil eye chain rings. And then they brought out this like solid gold band one. And I just, I love it. And I had it in my collection for a long time and I wasn't wearing it frequently and I don't know why. And I kind of just one day stacked it with this band, which I actually bought my, my friend Talene and I bought these bands together, which was really cute. Anyway, I stacked it together one day and I basically haven't taken it off since. <laughs> um, I love how they stack. So to anyone who I upset by continuously wearing the evil eye ring, I am so sorry. Let us all hope together that they will someday bring it back. And then on this pointer finger too, I just take like one half of my day David Yearman Pure Form Duo and I put it on and uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do necklaces yet because I don't know what I'm wearing yet for the day and necklaces depend on what I'm wearing on the rest of the body. But that's it, that's kind of my little morning routine in here in the bathroom. Um, even if I'm, if I'm showering or not, this is usually how I leave the bathroom with my skincare and my jewelry. <laughs> even if nothing else on the rest of my body is done, I will, I will come out with the, with the jewels. So I keep it in here. Cause it's nice like at night when I'm going to wash my makeup off and get ready, like I take my jewels off before I do my whole face wash. So it's actually just been really nice to keep that little catch all tray there. So I'm going to, mm, do I keep the clip in? Mm, no, I might give my hair just a quick little refresh actually. I give it a little spritz with my dry bar, dry shampoo. And then I always, 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 even if it's just the tiniest bit, I always blow dry the dry shampoo out. It's one of my favorite little hair hacks, beauty hacks, what have you. I feel like it just, especially if you're not using like a brown toned dry shampoo, it just helps to get any of the excess out of your hair. And it always makes you feel like you just washed your hair. And with that, my friends, we're ready to start the day. Let's go get a coffee. 
Oh, Meryl. Oh, he's screaming. So guys, my mom is very, very big into Christmas. And one of her favorite traditions that we do every year is we, oh, Meryl's sneezing. <laughs> one of the things that we do every year on Christmas Eve or leading up to Christmas is we all build gingerbread houses. But my mom always makes like sugar cookie houses. I'm curious to know which route she went in here, but we build them all and then we have all our like sugar cookie houses or gingerbread houses lined up and we decorate them and it's super fun and it's a Christmas activity we always do together. And obviously because this year uh, in Ontario and Toronto and BC, they've extended the COVID lockdowns, which is very, very sad. And so we're not gonna be going home for Christmas. It's gonna be me, Dan and Meryl this year. <coughs> But my mom was <laughs> very insistent that we keep the tradition alive and so she sent us <laughs> the kits so that we could still build our gingerbread houses together over FaceTime. So the package just got here this morning. Mom, you're so cute. I don't know how she got it here so fast. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, did she make us cookies? Look at, look at what this woman did. She made, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. She made us the icing packs <laughs> to decorate it. And we have, <laughs> we wear the same aprons every year. She literally sent, <laughs> she, <laughs> she must have sent her spare apron for us to use. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. She even put coconut chips. Merry Christmas, Lana and Dan. Oh. Okay, guys. Yeah, she did the sugar cookie houses. So this is, I feel like we've mentioned this before in previous Landmases, but if you're new here, we used to make gingerbread houses every year and my mom like hand makes them and she makes our own little individual kits. And the one year we all decided that we don't actually like gingerbread, <laughs> but we like sugar cookies. So ever since then, she's made sugar cookie houses and this is, this is so cute, mama. Oh. Now Dan and I get to have our own competition. This is so nice. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys that. It's the cutest thing. Oh. oh my god. This is so sweet. Mom, I love you. I'm gonna go cry now, but also make our coffee. <laughs> and this is breakfast. <laughs> Time to get glammed. Dan and I right now are about to attempt something unlike we've ever attempted before for an Instagram post. Let me just shut the door. Just in case Meryl comes a howling. So we are doing an Instagram with Chatter's Hair Salon, which is very exciting because we are promoting Dry Bar, which I love so much. I'm so excited to be able to do this. And basically what we wanna do is do some really big, like fun updo using some of the styling products. And then Dan's gonna try to like Photoshop me in so that it's still my hands, like doing my hair, which we've never done before. And that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna try and do some like big, um, voluminous pony. I'm gonna try and do a big bang. Let's see what we come up with, guys. Wish us luck, fingers crossed. <laughs> This is also why I wanted to keep my hair dirty. It's definitely a lot easier. You have a lot more grip and grit when you're styling dirty hair. So let us go. I've literally never done this before, but I always just see people clipping the curls. <laughs> to like <laughs> make it set. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. It's like Johnny Bravo. Okay, I just ran up and just did a quick little base makeup. I actually used the L'Oreal Infallible foundation. I haven't used this in so long and I forgot how pretty it was. This is an old H&M shirt I have. Uh, 
I don't know why I decided to put it on while doing makeup. It's very much in the way. I'm just gonna try doing a little wing. Guys, this was our second attempt. We tried the like blue shirt one and it just like, ah, we're trying something different now. It's, it's been hours. It's 4 p.m. <laughs> We've been trying for so long. I got this really fun shirt from Revolve. It's an LPA shirt and I was like, oh, this is really festive. And then I put the Victoria Beckham pop lipstick on just to make it a little bit more glam. I think I wanna try and get some pics in this look regardless if this doesn't work or not. Wish me luck. <laughs> also, can we just talk about the hilarity of all of this being in sweatpants and slippers at the same time? <laughs> Forever in sweatpants. <laughs> all right, guys. I've just been trying to edit these pics. This is what we ended up with. <laughs> Styling my own hair. And just in case, always, like if a brand doesn't approve a photo. I always just take selfies just in case. Anyway, uh, yeah. We just ordered sushi. Support local. Support local. And I do believe I just heard the knock. Let's eat. Oh my god, we haven't eaten all day. Is it here? Oh. <gasps> There's this one. It's called a volcano something roll. It's like specific to this one sushi place. It's called Sushi Rock. And it's literally just doused in like torched mayo. It's so good. Beautiful. This is the roll in question. Just covered in sauce. It's dripping. <laughs> guys, we're gonna feast. <sighs> Ooh. All right, guys. <laughs> we finished feasting. I am in a sushi coma. Oh, I'm so full. Um, I need to just pack up a couple things here. I have one Depop to pack up and one giveaway I need to pack up and I'm going to head to the post office. You know, cursive E's are really hard for me. I just ruined that card. All right guys, let's go. Let's go ship these out. <laughs> home from my stroll. It was actually a really nice night. It was like nicely brisk. There's no snow on the ground. It's just a nice cool evening. Um, anyway, I went and did the curbside pickup at Indigo, aka Chapters, our little bookstore here in Canada land, except now they have everything, honestly. Anyway, these are the books I got. Here are some new in reads. I could have sworn that I had the guest list before, but I couldn't find it anywhere. All of my books are in one little like section in the media cabinet. Anyway, these are the new in books here. This Stephen King book was very, very highly recommended by many of you on Instagram after I finished um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I'm really excited for that one. And then I've seen a few people posting about The Vanishing Half. And, uh, you know, I just always look at the thriller section to see what's new in the zoo because I just love me a good day read page turner that just is, well, thrilling to read. <laughs> Honestly, I know I haven't like elaborated on this very much, but yeah, basically just with the, with the new information that Dan and I are going to be here to ourselves for the holidays, I just figured I would get some books. That's like my favorite way to relax and kind of unwind. This continued time we're gonna be having to ourselves and Dan has his, like him and his guy friends like have teams that they play NHL and Call of Duty on Xbox. So I figured I would just sit back and relax and it's, it's just a nice way to like turn off the screens, you know? I'm gonna whip up a quick din for Dan and I. I'm not sure how much more we'll get up to this evening in this vlog. But we're gonna have some leftover chicken thighs and I'm gonna whip up a side of veggies. And I have absolutely been snacking on the candy that was meant to be reserved for our sugar cookie houses. What's a girl to do when there's mini eggs sitting on the counter right in front of my eye? <laughs> Let's make some din, guys. And give Meryl her dinner. She's been sitting here <laughs> meeping at me. Leftover curry with veggies. <laughs> Not bad. 
for dinner. You guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night here on the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, two more videos left in Landmas, guys, which is absolutely crazy. I hope you're all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. And before I end this vlog, I'm just gonna zoom it back real quick to this morning for today's giveaway. Hi friends, welcome back to the morning. Woo, zipping you back in time. Um, I wanted to talk about today's Landmas giveaway, which is very exciting. And because I mentioned my little skincare routine in this video, I thought it would be the perfect time to include the skincare giveaway. One of you is going to be going home with all of this. Let me quickly breeze you through what's in the box. Face halos. Couldn't do a skincare giveaway without doing face halos. I literally use them every day to remove my makeup. The Fresh Multi Masking Set. This is another fresh holiday set with a ton of their like rose hydrating collections and also the Fresh Sugar Lip Holiday Set. This is the cutest little box ever. <laughs> So cute, and the tinted ones of these are actually really beautiful. So then I just picked up a ton of like things that I'm just currently using or always use. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, my favorite cleanser of all time. And then I've, I've just really been loving the Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil, so picked one of these up for you guys. Obviously I included two of my favorite masks, the Ula Henriksen Faclo Facial and the Youth to the People Yerba Mate. Does anyone remember the brand Baby Fat? Like every time I go to say this name, I go to say Ula Henriksen baby fat. It's so embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> Ula Henriksen, I am so sorry, but that is exactly what comes to mind every time I see or think of saying the name of that mask. Oh my God. I also just put in a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer because technically you could use it as skincare and I love it and I feel like it's a good way to just top up your skincare routine. Um, I picked up this cute, <laughs> trio of the Caudalie hand creams. I always have some of these laying around. My favorite one is this one, the white one. That's my personal favorite flavor and I thought this little ornament was so cute. Put that in there as well as the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. Then the final piece of this giveaway which was so sweet. SkinCeuticals sent over an entire routine for you guys to have which is amazing. I have been loving loving my routine that I've been doing. I feel like other than today, ironically, I wake up with like these two zits here, but my skin has been so good for such a long period of time since I've been using this. So I'm really excited that they sent it, <laughs> they sent a set for you guys to use as well. So there's an entire box here of an entire SkinCeuticals skincare routine in here, you guys. We've got a cleanser, multiples of their like antioxidants and serums, the resveratrol BE. That's like my one of my favorite products that I've been using at night. We have the phytocorrective mask. And then this one doesn't actually fit in the box, but the beloved triple lipid restore moisturizer. Oh, and their sunscreen. Yeah, all in there in the box, you guys. That is huge. That is a huge giveaway. Their stuff is luxe and pricey. SkinCeuticals, thank you so much. So excited for one of you to try this. And if you want to enter to win this massive skincare giveaway, you guys, check the description box down below on how you can enter. Good luck to everyone who enters. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to go continue filming the rest of it. And if you're at this point in the vlog, then you would have already seen what happens for the rest of the day so i hope you enjoyed whatever we did and i hope you're having a beautiful day my friends and we'll see you all tomorrow for a new landmas video bye